In this video, we will walk through the basic steps to set up your Hikon board. First, we will need to download and install the VSI Device Manager from the product page of your board. Then, we need to connect the Hikon controller to the PC using Ethernet cables. You can either connect through a router or with a direct connection to the PC. Open the VSI Device Manager. If you are connecting via a direct connection to the PC, you will need to perform an extra step before scanning for your board. Open the Network and Internet settings. Change Adapter Options, then right-click the adapter that you have connected the board to. Select Properties, then select IPv4, then Properties. In the window that appears, select Use the following IP address, and set the IP address to 192.168.0.10, and click the subnet mask for it to autofill to this value. Click OK and then open the VSI Device Manager. You may now scan for the device. If the device doesn't appear or is highlighted in orange, and this may indicate the device's IP address is incorrectly configured. Hit the Auto Assign IP button to automatically correct the device's IP address. Note that this operation will change the IP address of all HiCon devices on the network. After setting the IP and cycling the power on the board, the device should now properly appear in the list. Your HiCon motion controller is successfully connected to your PC. You should begin by installing the latest version of Mach 4. Once you've done that, navigate to the product page for your board, scroll down to Downloads, and click the Firmware and Plugin link. Download the latest version for your board. I'm using a 7866 board, so I'll download this one. Open the zip file, then the Plugins folder. Copy the two files inside to the Plugins folder inside of the Mach 4 installation directory. By default, this is located in the C folder. Now that you've done that, open Mach 4. Navigate to the Controls window and then the Plugins tab. Disable the Simulation plugin and enable the Hikon plugin. Now restart Mach 4. After reopening, navigate to the Select Motion Device window and select the Hikon Motion Device. Now, open the Hikon Plugin window and make sure you click Factory Reset. Click on Apply, then OK. The Hikon plugin installation is now complete. The Hikon plugin has many features and options, but in this video, I'm just going to get a single motor jogging. Please refer to the Mach 4 integration manual linked in the description for a more thorough explanation of all the plugin's features. Anyway, navigate to the Motor Zero tab, select Control Output Type, and select the type that matches your motor, stepper, analog, or ethercat. I'm going to select stepper. If you have the closed loop activation, you can also enable that at this time by setting the feedback source to encoder. You need to perform these steps for each motor you want to set up. However, we highly recommend starting with only one motor for testing purposes. We should also set the unused motors to undefined. Now that we've done that, we can close the HiCon plugin window and navigate to the Mach 4 control window. First, we should go to the Motors tab and configure and enable the motor we plan to use. Additionally, you'll need to go to the AUX Positions tab and enter the counts per unit for your desired motor. Then, we should go to the Axis tab and map the motor to the desired axis. 
We can now close the control window, enable the controller, and jog the motor.